Being yourself is a force that makes things happen. The stronger you are about you, the more the universe shows up with support. First of the seven steps, know your uniqueness. Socrates said, know thyself. Figure out what is special about you. There is only one of you, and you are here to be that one. The big system, divine oneness, natures you as you nurture it by contributing the special stuff you are made of. Knowing your purpose here is critical to your happiness. You were born unique, don't die a copy. And here are some exercises to help you begin defining your uniqueness. Get your journal, find a quiet corner and explore the bigger picture of who you are. What have you always wanted to do? If you won a lottery for instance, what would you do with your days? What can you get so involved that you lose track of time? What have you always wanted to study? If you could spend a year as an apprentice with someone living dead or fictional, what would that be? What are your all-time favorite movies? What characters did you feel most like and why? What five books have had the strongest impact on you? What were they about? Ask your friends and family to give you five to ten descriptive words for you. Then ask them, if you could see me staring in another career role, what would it be? And then, read, do what you love, the money will follow. Read that book. The second of the seven, be you. Be yourself. Ask yourself, am I really doing my thing? Am I contributing my uniqueness to the whole? Am I engaged with life in a way that adds specialness of who I am? Or am I busy earning a living, doing something to merely survive? Am I afraid to change? Am I afraid to live what I think gives me security? And the third, be clear about what you want. Remember the most basic of energy phantoms are conscious. If you ask for a wave, you get a wave. If you ask for a particle, you get a particle. Conscious energy responds to what you ask for. So be clear, the mind cannot tell the difference between a real and vividly imagined experience. Remember that. The fourth, this is a big one. Ask. This seems obvious but it's an important step that's often overlooked. You have to say the magic words, I need help, please help me with this. Asking is like putting the order in the mailbox. It's the final part of the sending it out. The Universal Fulfillment Center can't feel an order that it doesn't have. This part is very easy. You simply say, I need help, please help me with this. It's like sprinkling the fairy dust over your request that sends it out its way energetically. It announces to the quantum soup that you are open to import. The fifth, stay open. If you have programmed expectations about what the response will look like, you may overlook the answer to your order when it comes. A quantum universe has millions of possibilities and will respond to you from its treasures. The response may not fit your expectation, but it will fit the need. And the sixth, as of you, receive. When the solution comes, claim it. Reach out and embrace it. Take some action that confirms it is as a response you've been asking for and waiting for. It, if it's an idea you receive that solves a problem, verbally say, bingo, yes. Shine the spotlight of your acknowledgement on the answer you've gotten. Receive your answers from wherever they came from or they come from and affirm that your request has been answered. 
And the seventh one, be grateful and celebrate. Imagine that you've taken the time and care to choose a unique gift for someone you love. You surprise them with this special something that is perfect for them. How would you feel if they take it and walk away? Chances are you wouldn't again soon take your time and effort to try to please them. But you'll want to keep them on your gift list if they show their delight and you feel their gratitude. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Be grateful and celebrate. While these seven steps may not be the only rules of the game, there are some of the protocols that seems to be honored by quantum reality. At the core of quantum creativity, we say, this is special me, this is what I am, this is what I want. The universe continues to extend itself to us as partners in creation. As we enter into the opportunity, we will learn how to play.